this is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you the brand new spring Lightroom workflow collection from Sleek Lens called Cherry Blossom. So this collection is all about bringing in the spring colors and tones into your photos, and we've made it very, very easy with this new collection that includes 78 presets, 10 brushes, and for those of you who are running Lightroom CC Classic 7.3 and up, you'll be able to use camera profiles as well. So I'm going to demo the presets here. I'm going to couple photos so you can kind of see what you're going to get when you get this collection. So we have this particular photo right here, and all I'm going to do is go down the standard presets that we have. So as you can see, we have the all-in-one presets here. These are kind of the one-click fixes. Uh, we have the base presets, which is a little bit a little bit simpler of adjustments, but it just starts building the base of how your photo will turn out. Then we have the exposure presets. This is really going to change how your photo will start to look with the exposure tones, shadow recoveries, highlights, and such. Uh, we have a couple little effects here, some black and white presets, and then also some vignettes. So let's go back up to the top here. And the first one I'm going to click on is the all-in-one blooming preset. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to apply that to the photo. And as you can see, it applies a nice little cool tone to the photo. Uh, if I just do a before and after here, you can see how the differences of that tone are. A little bit more blues there and a little bit more of a contrast look. Uh, but even though this is an all-in-one preset, uh, we can actually still kind of configure this a little bit further. So uh, now that I've done an all-in-one, I'm going to go down to the base section. And I'm going to choose the base smart start. And what that's going to do is add a little bit of a vignette, a little, a little pump up a little bit more blues, add a little bit more warmth back into the whites there, uh, make it look really, really nice. Now what I want to do here is also add a little bit of contrast as well. So I'm going to go over to the exposure section and I'm going to click contrast one. So when I do that, I can see uh, how nice that contrast looks when I have that there. It looks really, really nice. Uh, really, really great effect. Uh, I do want to bring back a little bit of the shadows. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to do Shadow Recovery 2. And that's going to bring back a little bit of those shadows there, make it look real nice. Uh, and then also my last step for this particular photo is I'm going to apply a little bit of sharpening. So I'm going to go down here to the effects and I'm going to apply sharpen too. So just in a matter of a couple minutes, we turned a pretty decent photo. It was okay into a really extraordinary photo. So as you can see the before and after here looks really, really nice. Those warm tones there, a little bit of that difference of the blue there makes, uh, but also adds a little bit of contrast into the mountains here and uh, really brings out the photo, brings out the warmth and the, and the nice foggy tones of the photo just makes it look really 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 nice so i really enjoy that edit and we can continue to edit it further but i think this is where i'm going to leave this particular photo so now let's move over to another one here this is a, a waterfall photo and this particular photo is not bad whatsoever but we want to kind of want to you know increase the increase the, the the fun a little bit in the photo so i'm going to go back up to my presets here and instead of starting with an all-in-one preset i'm actually going to start with the exposure presets i'm going to go down to the two section and go to the exposure presets and I'm going to choose instant HDR here and as you can see I can bring out a little bit of that shadow detail kind of calm down a little bit of the highlights just to make it look a little bit more neutral because there was a lot of contrast in the photo but now that we have did that we want to add a little bit of contrast back in so I'm going to click contrast to and just bring some of that contrast in there looks really really nice uh, now I'm gonna cool down the shadows uh, again this is in the base section I want to cool down the shadows because there's a little bit too much warmth here so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to cool shadows number one there and you can see it cools it down a little bit it starts to bring out a little bit more of that green that's there not have it turn yellow and then I'm gonna go down here to the effects section and just apply a little bit of a fade I'm gonna do fade one and you can see it kind of looks really, really cool there. And one thing that you can do also with these presets is, you know, this is kind of like a starting point for this photo. I do like the way it looks, but maybe you want to add a little bit of uh, more of a dehaze uh, filter to it, kind of add a little bit of that contrast there. So I'm going to slide the dehaze up a little bit. And as you can see, when I do that, it really starts to add some of that contrast in. I can also do clarity as well. So even though you have these presets, if you want to kind of further uh, kind of tune these images the way you like them, that's a great way to do it. So let's look at the before and after here. 
Really, really nice. You got some of that warmth there, but now we kind of cooled it down and bring some of that nice crisp air that you would typically feel in spring into your photo. So those are just a couple quick previews of the new Cherry Blossom Spring Lightroom Workflow Collection from Sleek Lens. If you want to learn more about that, make sure you check the link in the description down below, and that'll take you over there and you can check out more information about that collection there. So thank you guys for joining me in this video. This has been Jordan from Sleek Lens, and I'll see you in the next one.